fan. One what? And then we've got uh, the collection that Robert sent, which is here. Okay, right? that's for sale. That's for sale. sale. All of that's all priced. And then the next uh, rack is all vintage from our collection okay. for sale. These are all your ones from, uh, this is, I guess, from the Neiman's? Collection. Yeah, yeah, the Neiman's collection. Yeah. Keep this in your store. Don't you think this is a good yeah, place yeah, to keep Yeah, yeah, all these we would sell. You'll yeah, keep. Yeah, You'll yeah, keep absolutely. here yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. So we're going to have a relation, like a, a relationship. Yeah. Oh, this is Shirley's, too. No, no, that's not. We that's just happen yours. to have it. Mm -hmm. That's yours? This is all ours. All of this is ours. <gasps> wow. No, the books aren't here. What? No books are here. No, that I emailed you this morning. No books still, and I emailed you. I called, left a message a little while ago. No books. I have one copy of her book, and and Sydney ate half of the cover. Uh, yeah, that's it. No, no books. I saved the day. I show me to be here at 5.30, I'm here. Where do you want your books, Liz? Elizabeth? Where do you want to put the books? In the street box. Uh, let me deal with this first. Oh. Okay. Is that your mommy? Is that your mommy? Is that your mommy? I still need to put a piece on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to go across here. So Vicky tells me that she has this girlfriend that she's been dressing for years and it's Shirley Fonda. And apparently Shirley has some 75 pieces of couture and I'm going, wow. So we say, all right, your book signing, your collection, Shirley's collection, and of course, now she says that she's also launching her line on Home Shopping Network. And I go, wow, sneak preview to your Home Shopping Network at the same time. The timing could not be more perfect. All right, wait a second. Between Shirley Fonda's friends, Vicky's friends, my my friends and the boutique clients, oh my goodness, we're going to get a huge turnout. I wonder how we're going to fit them all in. I actually have Elizabeth's mic is right here, and so I have to kind of talk into She has to that. speak into my breast. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I have been so looking forward to this <coughs> evening to celebrate the creative, creativity of Vicki Teal and the great personal style of Shirley Fonda. There's a lot to hear tonight, so I'm going to turn this over to my friend Elizabeth Mason. And welcome and thank you very much for coming. What we have behind um, are, of course, Vicki Teal's designs, and they are the personal possessions of Mrs. Shirley Fonda. And we also have another group of Shirley's pieces here, which are just spectacular. Really, really proud to um, say hello and welcome, and thank you very much for coming out, Shirley. And I'd like you to just come up and say hello to everyone if you would please. It was such an incredible pleasure to go through her archives. I have 76 pieces of beautiful Vicky Teal and it was so hard for Cindy and I to choose just exactly which 10 pieces we would put on display tonight. Um, I'm sure you had an incredible time wearing them. Well, if it weren't for Vicky, I probably wouldn't have been to all the fun places that I had gone to and met some of the most famous people and wonderful people and uh, she knew what was right for me, because I wasn't always sure 
but she was sure, so I went with Vicki. I've never been sorry since, and we go way, way, way back to even our bathing suit days. Oh, we have a set of hot pants over there. Oh, right. <laughs> the incomparable Vicki Teal is going to take you on a serious ride as she talks about her wonderful new book, It's All About the Dress. Welcome, Vicki. I'm a couturier. I spent my entire life making clothes. So I made clothes for the women in Paris and London and Rome. They would all come to my shop. They took their clothes off in my dressing room and measured them. And I talked to them and I sketched. And when a woman is naked, they would tell me everything. My husband did this, tears would come out. I love him, he's not my husband. But on and on and on. So I ended up being a sexpert. I'm giving sex advice. I've done it for 45 years. I, love it. I hook up everybody. So my dresses are all about getting men, and my book is all about getting men. Her shop. <laughs> I'll have a few dresses to show you. Show us everything. Okay, <laughs> this was the first mini. Wow. Amazing. Now we didn't have panties, we wore them bare. <laughs> <laughs> so when we bend over like that, you could see it, you know? It was just. <laughs> 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 this was 1964. <laughs> And she sits me down next to Coco. So I sit down and I'm wearing this, naked underneath. Naked as a jaybird. I sit down next to her and she's like this. And she looks at me and she says, what are you in French? Vous êtes qui? Une femme ou un enfant? And I said, what are you, a woman or a child? And I go, I'm you but young. <laughs> So anyway, thank you all very much for coming. Please stay and have another cocktail and mingle around and ask Vicki and get a book signed. And thank you. So all in all, I think that the event was pretty successful. We had a huge turnout. Aside from the fact that the books arrived 15 minutes before the show was supposed to start. So that was a little nerve-wracking. I know Vicky was a little concerned. But other than that, oh yeah, the bungee cord issue. Lost a couple of racks and tumbled and uh, damaged some of my dresses. So uh, lesson learned. Of course, the party didn't end here. Two days later, I got on a plane and met up with Vicky in Tampa to launch her line on HSN. It was so amazing. In one hour time frame, she had to sell over $300,000 worth of merchandise. Who knew? But she sold out completely. The phones went crazy. They loved her. She's just so perfect for that. So they are really excited about having her back there again with her new collection in the fall. And I hope I'm going to be going with her. So so thanks so much for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Mason, the Paper Bag Princess, and this is my little prince, Sydney. See you next time on another great adventure here at The Princess. Thanks! <laughs>